Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optibotomous coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Generations Com Combiner Wars Power Glide. And unlike the Thundercracker, Wind Charger, and Bombshell figures, this is actually meant to be part of the whole Combiner Wars thing. For the package, you can see you got a nice open shell right there. You got Transformers along the side. You got the new Transformers Generation logo, as well as a really cool image of Power Glide here in the back. And it says combined to form, well, not not that, but when you come around to the back, you can see that he actually is used as a gun. He's got three different modes. Obviously, his robot, and I believe that's an A-10 Warthog, I, I want to say. Either way, a jet mode. And then you can see that he's being held by, well, Skydive as a gun. So it's kind of weird, but that's how they incorporate it into the whole Combiner Wars thing. Now we have seen like Bombshell kind of fan moded into a gun, but I really don't think that that's all that official. The instructions don't show it. And like I said, this is the only one that has packaging that specifically shows that he's part of the whole like Combiner War thing. But it says that Power Glide is an aerial acrobat well-versed in dogfighting tactics. Now, whatever that means, but it's been around here package looks really cool you can see it's a little bit more smaller than we're used to kind of getting with these legend figures it seems a little bit more squat in but i dig it so beyond that that's about it for the package so without further ado let's get him open and see how cool he actually is all right guys so here we have power glide open up and out of his packaging and i'm actually i'm pretty impressed with it there, there are some things that i don't particularly like but generally speaking i think they did a really good job with this uh, it is really nice to get, uh, you know, us mini bots again that really do nicely resemble those original characters. Now, we've gotten Power Glide figures in the past, but they've always been a little bit strange. So, setting him there... <laughs> um, here's the, like, the Universe 2.0 one, and... Yeah, there, there's a there's a slight size difference. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, this was during a time when they were taking a lot of mini bots and really upscaling them. This is a uh, ultra class figure. This was a great toy. I I, I still absolutely really do dig it, but it, it just it just never had the same you know feel of Power Glide. Now, first size comparison, uh, an A10 is actually a fairly big plane, and using skydive here which uh, it, you, there is a, there's a slight size difference here as well. An A-10 is a bigger plane than an F-16-ish sort of jet. So it's a little bit reversed here, but again, Power Glide was always depicted as being a little bit smaller than the rest of the guys. So I don't mind this really all that much. I mean, this is definitely a case where the accuracy in terms of alt mode doesn't bother me that much with this scale, but it is, it's a pretty good looking plane. Now, I don't like how his, uh, what will become his upper thighs are this different kind of off white color. I really wish it was the same color as the rest of the body. It breaks things up, especially here for the legs, but it's like on the back, I wish they would have painted that. Uh, I mean, you come around here to the front, you can obviously see what's going to be the majority of his body, but I, I wouldn't mind so much if they kept the thighs that color, but like maybe half of that should be painted red. It's just one of those things that it breaks up the overall look and doesn't look really good if you ask me. Now, also, you come around here to the back and this is really strange that he's got a bit of a thruster right here in the center when he's got his thrusters right here. Now, this is a part of the Combiner Wars line as having a third mode which can be used as a gun. It's weird. I, I think it's kind of silly, but yeah, we'll go there. So first you take these and you rotate these down. Then these little thrusters actually shift forward just a little bit, just like that. Take these, unpeg these, rotate that around. Do that as well here. Tuck <laughs> that in right there. Uh, bring out my little screwdriver you lift this that has a little target thing on there and here you have his gun this is a gun mode um i could really care less about this being a gun but it's a gun that's that's what they say it is it kind of looks a little bit better if it was like a turret or something but there's no way to really do it this is actually his landing gear but it is basically a five millimeter post that you can use to hold the figure or that a, a figure can hold it. So bringing in uh, something to hold them, um, stick that in there. 
there. I mean, this is kind of off-centered because this little piece is right there. But, I mean, okay, sure. It's a gun. It's a way of making him kind of with the aerial bots, which... He never was a part of the aerial bots, so he's not going to be part of the aerial bots for me. So, I mean, it's just kind of silly to be totally honest with you. Um, but you have it in, in case you, you want to use something. But uh, I, I'm just basically going to leave him here in his jet mode. Now, to go into his actual robot form, take these, split these legs, fold these down. That's going to be his little feedums. Rotate this back just like so. Take this, rotate this, tab that in there where you had the arms for his gun form. You, well, you actually also had the missiles right here. Detach this. Ah, this is a little pain in the butt. There we go. Detach that. Angle these out. Tuck this down. This whole section, get this out of the way. This whole section lifts up and then accordions down. And locks down there then you rotate his head and there you have power glide he's got a little bit of a butt flap there but, but I mean if it's any consolation it's, it's also what ultra Magnus has so there you have them and this here though is absolutely spectacular and I, I could not be happier than I am with this guy again this is just Everything that I would want in a power glide figure. I mean, you got the classic look for the head. You got the wings up here. You got the arms that are the color that they really should be a huge Autobot logo here that looks great. I mean, everything on here really is a very well-made figure. A lot of these legend figures are absolutely nailing what they're intended to look like. And Hasbro's done a terrific job. And the, I mean, there's some really great paint details on it. I mean, very subtle. I mean, there's like not much. I mean, you got a great Autobot logo there. You got some nice paint here for the eyes. You got a little bit of silver and blue right there in his little cod piece. But the rest is all very simplistic. But the colors just work so great together. I mean, there really isn't anything that I could think of that they need to improve on this guy. Now, I have seen some people that have had problems where these legs won't stay together. Mine stay together pretty good. I mean, you can see that they're holding in there. I mean, it's not bad at all on mine. Uh, so it, it does seem to be it's a, a possible quality control issue, but I would imagine that if you took some uh, pledge floor polish and put a little bit on there, you could probably tighten that up if you do have a problem with it. It's very similar to a lot of ball joints. You could probably thicken that and create a little bit of resistance that would make it stay there nicely. But he's great. Uh, uh, very, very impressive. In terms of his uh, articulation, as part of the transformation the head rotates it's a little bit harder to get to because you got the little wing things right here but you can still get it looking left and right the shoulders here on ball joints so nice range of motion there the elbows move forward and back uh, he doesn't rotate at the hip Unfortunately, it's stuck there, but the, or I should say the waist, but the hips do move forward and back. They're all over the place because of a ball joint. He does have ball joints also down here at the actual knee, so you can get a nice range of motion there as well. And then as part of the transformation, I guess you could say that his foot pivots forward and back. So a lot of articulation in these guys. I love seeing that because of all the mini bots, Power Glide was probably the most articulated of them. So I'm happy to see that this guy has loads of articulation as well. Now to go back back to his jet mode it's a little bit tricky here with the arms you kind of have to make sure you line this up properly to get that in i mean that's probably the hardest part right i mean seriously just lining that up just like so pull these out just like that rotate the head around like so getting that nice and centered right there perfect then take this whole section lift this up fold that down like so Bring the legs together here, give them a nice little push, rotate the feet down, fold the little wings down as well. And maybe you can actually leave these, oh, that, that whole thing detaches. It just slides all the way down. Wow, that's craziness. Uh, so then you rotate this, well, bring that down like so. That'll actually tab here into the little ugly tannish section. And then on the bottom here, you've got holes that tab here. So when you bring this around, that will lock into place 
just like so. So getting that situated, fix these little wing flaps. There you have Power Glide back in his jet mode. And like I said, Hasbro really is nailing it with these little guys and doing a terrific job of recapturing that same kind of feel that the original mini bots had, but in updated, heavily articulated and much better detailed looking figures. I, I really think the inclusion of him with the aerial bots and having him be a gun is a bit silly and kind of stupid, but hey, at least they're being creative and thinking outside the box, I guess. Uh, jet mode looks terrific. I, I do wish that the coloring here was a little bit better, but that's that's kind of par for the course, I guess. You can't have everything. And let's face it, they've been hitting home runs with a lot of their figures lately, so I shouldn't complain too much about that, I guess. Transformation is very simple, as you would expect a Legend Class figure to be, but again, in keeping with that mini bot sort of fashion, it works perfectly. But the robot mode, though, is absolute aces. I really love the way that he looks. So much that this will be replacing that Ultra Class figure in my collection. It's just that good. So if this is something that you're interested in picking up, they are slowly starting to trickle out to retail. Or if you can't find them, there's always Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to Big Bad Toy Store where you can pick this guy up and add him to your collection today. But beyond that, that's about it, guys. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotamus. Don't forget that you can keep in touch with me by liking my Facebook page at facebook.com slash teambotamus and by following me over on Twitter at twitter.com slash also, I'd encourage you to check out my new website at optibotomusreviews.com, where you can see all my videos from the previous week, see what I have coming up for future release, and also get your very own Optibotomus t-shirt. And finally, guys, I'd also really appreciate it that if you like this review, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.